the global demand for seafood just keeps growing. And so how do you increase that amount of seafood? The only way to do that is through aquaculture. But there's a problem with aquaculture at present. The world is really running out of that space close to shore for these kinds of farms. Open ocean aquaculture, it's really a way of being able to increase production for, for seafood. So it's a great way of taking what we already have and know about aquaculture and making it more sustainable in the open ocean. So our sea area is more than 15 times our land area but we're farming less than 0.01% of that. So open ocean aquaculture is a real opportunity for New Zealand to make more of that sea area that we have. Overseas, open ocean aquaculture is a, is a huge activity. They're looking at these huge, overly engineered oil rig structures to withstand the really harsh environment. We're taking a different point of view. We're looking at the fish's point of view, and we're taking a mobile approach. The mobile aspect of the open ocean technology that we're looking at, it can create resilience for sea temperature warming, so we can start moving animals away from warmer temperatures if they need to be, but also allows for species diversification. Wouldn't it be great if we had more than one finfish species that we aquacultured in New Zealand? We are doing a lot of work with Plant and Food to try and de-risk this industry to provide confidence for both the industry and for investors in this industry to go out in that open ocean space. So we're looking at modelling different types of structures and trying to understand how they respond in an open ocean environment. So for open ocean aquaculture, I'm sure everybody can stand there and think of 50 things that there are problems of being able to get some kind of technology out there. So even just the basics of, of designing a system that uh, the fish can uh, live in and be happy in and grow really well in, that's you know strong enough to be out in the open ocean. So what about autonomous vessels? Can we actually create a system that is autonomous? Can we control it from land? You're going to be sitting there at your desktop clicking buttons and moving your system around or feeding your fish. There's a lot of science to be done, but there's a lot of technology development there as well. Um, obviously Māori have a really special relationship with the sea, so any research we carry out, we want Māori to be involved right from the start. Within Plant and Food, we have senior cultural advisors working with us and making those links and relationships with iwi, with Māori entities, and bringing them together so we can understand that world view and bring it in as an integral part of the research. I guess this is a big opportunity for New Zealand to be able to grow our economy in a way that is environmentally sustainable and creating more jobs in the regions of New Zealand. So it's a, real, a really great opportunity for New Zealand to develop new technologies, develop new industries, uh, develop a whole new sector if this industry took off. There's a whole lot of opportunity out there for New Zealand.